Hello everybody and welcome to a bonus video for the Mad Soul Monsters channel. I don't want to do these too often, but when I'm feeling it, when I have a really good idea that I cannot wait on, I think bonus videos could be really fun. And also, I'm super motivated to do a part two to this because I just want to say thank you guys, thank you monsters, because my first polymer clay technique video just blew up. <laughs> 500 watch hours and 10,000 views. It is insane. Just thank you guys so, so much. So I wanted to do a part two. I also have some more techniques on Pinterest. And I'm going to be honest, I decided I was filming this today because I have seen a new technique going around that I'm super curious about. And I just, I couldn't wait to like push it to another week. And it's using wet watercolors. I'm just, I'm I'm super curious about this stuff. I have some fun techniques. I have just a wad of scrap clay. Let's do this. Pinterest polymer clay techniques, part two. Also, just a quick disclaimer, um, part one, there were some, um, I'll say not nicely worded comments that I did delete, uh, including a couple of just direct threats, <laughs> I will say. Um, if I'm ever using the wrong supplies or something, I work with what I have on hand. I do not have a lot of money to my name, and I also, I, I preach that art supplies are something that if you have something similar on hand, just use what's similar on hand. And there were times I made it very, very clear that like, I don't have this, but I do have this adjacent thing, and it should work. And this is a learning process. We're just having fun. Um, there's no reason to threaten my livelihood <laughs> or other things, is what I, I'll just, I'll just put it there. Clay hack number one, I'm, I'm too excited about it, we're trying it first. I have been seeing this over the past only couple of days, and that is, normally, we will use acrylic paint or chalk pastels and paint it on that way. I've been seeing it, that we are actually using activated watercolors, like actually watercolor painting on clay. I am seeing this a lot with white clay. I don't think I have any open white clay. I just have some normal Sculpey white rolled out. Uh, this is way softer than I thought it would be just right out of the package. Let me just put it right over here so you guys can see it a little better. I got everything we need. I have ink pads, which I think is what people are using. No one's ever saying. This is the stamp I want to use. Also, I'm seeing the technique of watercolor, let it completely dry, and then stamp on it, which is just it's super interesting. I'm just going to get it nice and saturated. And just, huh, it's weird. <laughs> okay, I put it on and it's like, <laughs> it's really feeling like it's repelling the water, but it seems like it's staying to a certain degree because there's this kind of pink ring. Okay, when I let it sit a little bit, it seems to be doing a little bit better. But this is so far not acting like how other ones have done before so i'm not really sure what's going on here yes there's my red um i'm gonna go ahead and do the green i do think it's gonna dry but i don't think it's gonna dry the way we think it will because the green's kind of doing the same thing. I don't know if just my Skirkoys are the wrong watercolors. Everyone's just saying that it's watercolor paint. I'm very confused here. I don't really know what's happening. But it does seem like I'm having better luck when the watercolors are on the thicker side. While this dries, let's go on to the next hack because I, I genuinely don't know what's going to happen here. Okay, our next technique is one using a clay extruder I'm really excited about. Let's pull it up over here. It's from Studio Del Sol. They are a clay artist that I follow them a lot on a lot of social media platforms. And you essentially take bits of scrap clay, put it through an extruder, and then you slice it, almost emulating my grandma couch earrings that I made in a certain way. Um, with that whole slicing off the top layer, but you just get some really interesting effects. So let's try this out. This is part of my ball of scraps. I'm just gonna rip a chunk off, to be honest. 
Uh, her video says she uses a medium mixture. I'm not really sure which one that is. So I'm just going with this size. Like it's, it's the middle one uh, of the ones I have of like single circle extruder lines. This seems to be the most time consuming part. It's just making all of the different swirls. I could have done better if I picked a different stencil. However, with the carving tools I had, uh, this one just made the most sense. And also just to try this hack out to see if it actually worked. I do like that how, uh, because there's glitter in the red clay, I'm getting pops of glitter in the holes. So that is actually really interesting. Okay, it's about 20 minutes later. We have done two other hacks and the watercolor is finally dry. Uh, that staining is still there and it's very, very patchy, I will say, but I'm going to true. We're going to keep going and we're going to go with a stamp. Okay, definitely not as pigmented as I've been seeing in some videos. Surely this isn't going to work. Um, yeah, this isn't really work. Uh, I might have to clean it up with maybe acetone once it's all said and done, um, but I'm not liking that so far. I'm gonna just grab an arch cutter to cut out these earrings. I am at least gonna like finish them off. <laughs> and here we are, these are the finished uh, earrings, I guess, pre-baked. Um, we'll see how these do baked, but right now I am a bit indifferent about this. I'm a little disappointed. I thought that would work well. I was excited for this, but, um, kind of just looks like a murder scene. I'm not gonna lie. So our last one is a little bit more on the technical side, and that is simply this picture right here. There wasn't a video of it, and this was, I kept popping up. Uh, the same picture was shown time and time again as simple easy flower cane or easy uh, whatever. Essentially, this was this was known as an easy cane to do. And I am someone that cane work is not my specialty, something I, I would consider myself pretty weak in. So I wanted to see truly, is this an easy cane? For white, I'm using this light purple. The black, I'm actually using uh, this like, pretty brownie black color. And for the blue outside, I'm using granite clays because it's what I have on hand. Now I'm just going to flatten it on just one side. The way I get this shape. And now we do it, wrap it with the granite clay. In hindsight, should have wrapped them both together. Also, anyone else that works with polymer clay, do you guys, I, I don't, I feel like I'm weird when I do, because I do this. I just snip off the ends of any time I work with canes, even though I don't do it a lot. That way I can just see and make sure everything is going right. There we go. Now, this is the part I'm slightly worried about. I have to cut this into four segments and then stack them on top of each other. But I think I need to shrink this just a little bit before I do. Oh no, I only got three. Um, it's... It's okay. It's just the amount of clay. It's okay. Um, I'm gonna keep trying. So next thing is we smush the ends kind of together. And now the part that I'm not good at at all, which is shrinking, stretching, pulling, whatever you want to call it. I'm not good at it. 
Um, yeah, yep. Yeah, this right. This is where I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop right here. Um, let me just roll something quick and get a base to lay the flowers on. <laughs> and nope, screwed up again. Albeit not too bad, but like this definitely does not look like flower petals. I mean, maybe I can squish these sides a little bit. And it can get a little better, but it really seems like my issue here was uh, keeping the sides rounded. Also, because I do have a flat side. Okay, trying again. A little bit better. Okay. Could be worse, could be better. Okay, let's see if I got a smaller one that time. Hey, there we go. Okay. Overall ease of building, I'd say much easier than other canes I've tried. Uh, I don't hate this one, I don't really hate how it turned out. I could also say this works, this could work really well with that leaf technique from my first video. Definitely not the best floral cane out there, but hey, you know what? It's not the worst either. And I'm proud of myself the fact that this even looks moderately okay. I'll admit though, I am terrified to put this to the pasta machine. But there we go. <laughs> Could be worse. Uh, but the technique does work. It's just I'm bad at canes. Okay, so we have tried the four techniques and I'm looking at everything. Nothing's baked yet. Honestly, my biggest disappointment, the one I was the most excited for, the watercolor. I don't really know what went wrong there. I, I don't know. I've seen people use all sorts of different watercolors with this. So I don't see what was any different with my Sakura Koi's. Definitely ones I would try again. I would definitely try the carving out the stencils. I could see some really fun effects with like hidden metallics or hidden glitters. The leave extruder ones, be careful of your color choosing because uh, it can just kind of look a little weird if you have too much of one color or if color theory is not your friend, which I think is what happened to me. Color theory was not my friend and it just looks not to its full potential is what I will say. As for the flower cane uh, technique I kept seeing, in the end, this is what we're looking like. I do think with a bit more practice, this could be a cane I use a lot. And for someone that uh, I will admit, I kind of suck at polymer clay canes. I'm just not, I'm, they're not my strong suit. They're something I've never been confident about doing. Uh, this one was really good practice. I could see practicing this cane a bit and maybe if I did want to include floral details, this is one I could use. So yay, a floral cane that I'm not super intimidated by and a good technique overall. Overall, this was a really fun video to make. Um, ignore the green pen on my arm. I was acrylic pouring earlier. Um, consider subscribing to the channel for more random videos like this. If you guys ever see a polymer clay technique that you would like to see me try or something you're curious if it's possible to emulate, I'm a big fan of you can try anything once. The worst thing that happens is you don't like, like there's, there's no real downside to experimenting with art supplies. It's just art supplies. You can always have fun. And that's mainly our goal here is to have fun, experiment, and for me to share my art process. Down below are all the links to my social media, including my Etsy shop where you can see, see some jewelry, which I sometimes use these techniques that I've learned in these videos. They're really fun. And sometimes I will even put jewelry that I have made in the videos in the shop itself up for sale so you guys can get it if you so choose. You can also see my Ko-Fi page and some other links down below in terms of social media support, which is entirely free of following and sharing. All of that actually helps a lot. But without further ado, I hope you enjoyed this bonus video and I will see you next time, monsters.